but another man had been charged with the same two offences and it was therefore manifestly unfair that his client should continue to stand accused of them. More than 100 Labour MPs have signed a motion condemning the dumping of hospital waste at Rixton near Warrington. The waste from London hospitals, including Britain's largest AIDS clinic, should have been incinerated. An unemployed Wigan man has been jailed for two years for shaking his baby daughter to death. Liverpool Crown Court heard he did it in a single moment of temper and was frustrated after years of looking for a job. His girlfriend, social worker Elizabeth Barrett, said she'd stand by him. She said he had never mistreated their daughter Charlotte before. The news that the Ford Motor Company has been awarded a £1 million rate rebate has prompted calls for more government aid for the Merseyside borough of Knowsley. The local MP says Ford's windfall merely increases the problems of an area which is already impoverished. Two Merseyside MPs, Eddie Lloyden and Eric Heffer, have put forward a motion asking the government to resist calls to scrap the National Dock Labour Scheme. They say it's done much to end sweated labour for dock workers. And that's it. Do have a good weekend, but don't forget you can comment on regional and national news by joining the Phillips phone-in on your BBC local radio station. It's on until midnight, and you can call Roger Phillips on 0345 056 567. A very good evening to you. I would normally show you a slide of daffodils at this time of the year, but such has been the weather, I doubt if there'll be any left come the 1st of March, St David's Day. Here's another pretty picture, a satellite picture coming in from space. It just shows that band of cloud that brought some heavy bursts of rain across the country today. The vast uh, bulk of the country was clear, lots of sunshine, as much as nine hours, and it picks out quite nicely the showers up to the northwest. And here's a later satellite picture, that band of cloud pushing away from the east, the whole of the country now virtually clear, and then this great mass of cloud coming in from the west for tomorrow. So in the clear skies, already we've got a touch of frost, the temperature of minus one in central Scotland, and there's the odd patch of fog around as well. At first tonight, I think we'll have a frost in parts of Ireland. Here you can see with the blue areas, that's where temperatures will go below freezing, and in Scotland, and a frost coming along later in the night for much of England and Wales, while the cloud lifts the frost over much of the northern parts of Britain. So those temperatures down as low as minus one tonight and the winds picking up in the northwest up to gale force strength later tonight. The rest of the country in those clear skies, there could be some mist and fog patches and you'll need to watch out for that ice too tomorrow morning as well. So all that cloud pouring into northern Scotland and northern Ireland, preceded by snow, especially on the high ground. There's the weather chart for tomorrow, the cold front beginning to swing southeastwards. Lots of ice of our strong winds, up to storm force at times in some northern parts of Scotland. So tomorrow morning then, the southern half of the country waking up to a fine day, quite crisp, still one or two mist and fog patches around, but a different story for the north, lots of clouds, strong winds and a driving rain. But late in the day, as we find that cloud push southwards, brighter weather coming into the north with some showers, and late in the day, those showers turning out to be fairly frequent and heavy, some of hail and thunder and some snow. The southern counties stand bright right throughout the whole day. Most places feeling cold, though the temperatures will be as high as 10. On Sunday, cloudy in the south, the rest not too bad. Saturday night on One takes off with The Flying Doctors. Then at five past six, Jim fixes it for Rachel to become a TV presenter and for Kim to become a clown. Then at 6.40, Little and Large. I've invented fire! Fire extinguisher. And at 7.15, Hello, Hello. It is bad luck for you to see me before the wedding. It is not exactly good luck for me to see you afterwards. <laughs> the Paul Daniels Magic Show at 7.40 includes the remarkable trick cyclist, Kid Lima. In Bergerac at 8.25, Charlie's a worried man. This comes out into the open. It'll be the end of Arnold. It'll be the end of Jersey as we knew it. At 9.35, it's Midnight Caller and the Nighthawks on the air. OK, now, I just bet my producer that it is going to be one of those nights, so San Francisco, don't fail me now. At 10.25, it's Carrot Confidential with the usual mix of crazy comedy and biting satire. At 11 o'clock, the nightmares are about to begin for the dog soldiers. OK, I'll carry your skag, John. But make sure I get treated right. Saturday night on BBC One. Arena over on BBC Two now explores the African cultures and religions of New York, from martial arts to salsa music and hip hop. New York, the secret African city. Here on One in 50 Minutes, the late film is rich and famous, starring Jacqueline Bissett and Candice Bergen as two lifelong friends, both in love with the same man. First, it's Queenie's Big Day in Making Out. <laughs> 